Hi everyone. Welcome back to Tech Go. Ever feel like your brain is scattered across a dozen different tabs? I was drowning in digital chaos, kept switching between 8 or 9 tools just to get one research task done. Notion for notes, chat GPT for quick answers, endless browser tabs and sticky notes everywhere. The harder I tried to organize my thoughts, the more fragmented everything felt. Then I discovered something that completely changed the way I learn and work. Not another productivity tool, but a completely new concept, a thinking space. In this video, I'll show you how Ponder helps you turn scattered inputs into structured visual understanding. Whether you're diving into complex topics, writing a thesis, or prepping a report, this tool helps you think clearer, not just faster. Check the link in the description to try it out yourself. Now, Let's dive into what makes Ponder so different and why it might be the last tool you ever need. What is Ponder about? Ponder is the first AI-powered thinking space, a place where ideas can branch, connect and evolve naturally. No more linear workflows, no more rigid quanta formats. Instead of treating learning like a checklist, it gives you a canvas to explore ideas like your brain actually does. You can upload PDFs, videos, web pages, images, or paste long text, and Ponder instantly helps you build a structured knowledge map. You don't have to build it from scratch. The AI reads, organizes, and even helps you extend ideas, all visually. The biggest game changer. You are not thinking alone. Meet the Ponder agents. Ponder agent is your AI thinking partner. It doesn't just summarize or answer. It helps you discover blind spots, link scattered ideas, expand thoughts with questions, follow-ups, and counterpoints. Dot, and actively edit your mind map. Rename, merge, highlight, suggest new content. It's not just AI assistance. It's collaborative, traceable reasoning. Let's go hands-on. You can see that Ponder was previously known as ResearchFlow. I've also made a video about ResearchFlow and I'll link it in the description below. Feel free to check that out as well. Once you log in, Google or email, you'll land on the dashboard. This is where everything starts and connects. You can start from a question or upload files or create a space where you can add sources from anywhere. Let's dive into the main dashboard. At the center, you can start by asking any question. There are two main options, Ponder and Chat. Ponder is where you start with a blank canvas and Chat is to analyze or chat with your files using simple questions and answers. You can choose to enable search sources or web search depending on what you need. There are also plenty of AI models you may select from. From basic to more advanced ones like Gemini 2.5, comma GPT-4.1, comma, Claude Sonnet and others. If you want unlimited searches, stick with the basic model. Now let's move to the start with files option. Click it and you can upload files like PDFs, TXT and DOCs. You can also create a space, which is basically like your own knowledge space that keeps all your files, notes and links in one place, ready whenever you need them. You can add links to websites, blog posts, YouTube videos and even add plain text manually. On the left side, you'll see your saved ponders. You can click new ponder to start fresh, either from scratch or by asking a question. Now let's talk about spaces, one of the most powerful features of this tool. Let's go to the spaces section. I'll click on new space to create a fresh one. I'll name this new space rise of artificial intelligence and confirm it. Once confirmed, our new space will be saved like this. Now let's add some resources into this space. Click on add resources and you'll see several options like upload a file, YouTube video, web link, copy text. First, I'll upload some files from my downloaded list. Once uploaded, files will appear like this. Next, I'll add a YouTube video link. I'll go copy the link, paste it here and that's it. Now. Both our PDF files and YouTube video links are added to the space. Now let's go back to the home page and click on Start with Files. I'll click on Space File. Select the one we just created. 
Rise of Artificial Intelligence and click Add. Here, you'll see all the resources we've added into this space. Below that, you also have the option to add more files at any time. Now here's the interesting part. You'll see some pre-made AI prompts to ask questions based on the content of your space, or you can even ask your own questions directly. Down below, you can choose your AI model and also select between group analysis or individual analysis. I'll go with group analysis for now. At the top, you'll find options like mind map and compare. I'll click on mind map and it will generate one live based on our resources. Once it's generated, you can click on any note or card to expand it. Hover over cards to explore more tools. Now, let me walk you through the options available when you hover over a card. Add sibling card. This creates a new card right next to the current one. You can write anything inside. Add child card. This adds a subcard within the card you're working on. Copy text. Click here to quickly copy the text inside the card. Trace back to origin. This is helpful when you want to see the original resource where this information came from. Card color. You can change the card's color to highlight or categorize content. Ask AI. This is one of the most useful tools. You can ask anything related to that specific card. AI quick actions. With Ask AI, you also get quick action options like Simplify makes the text easier to understand, explain, offers a deeper explanation, example, provides a related example, dive in, goes deeper into the topic. Let's try simplify first, see how it breaks down the content for easy understanding. Now let's click example. And as you can see, it gives a real world example based on the card content. Let's try dive in. This will explore the topic in greater detail. Now, let's suppose the information and resources already present in the mind map are not enough and you want to add more. Here's how you can do it. Go to the search option. From here, you can search for more academic papers related to your topic. Let's try searching for rise of artificial intelligence and hit enter. As you can see, a bunch of relevant results appear. I'll select one of the research papers and add it to our mind map. Once added, it will appear like this in your space. Now, to get the most out of this paper, click on Ask AI and then select the option to generate a mind map. Just like before, a new mind map will be created from the research paper. You can click on the nodes to expand them and explore the content in detail. This way, you can easily understand complex information from the paper visually. If you want to add even more content, such as a locally downloaded PDF, you can click on the import file option and upload from your device. You can also manage all your added files under the manage space file section. And if you need to manually add your own point or topic, you can use the add blank card option. Now, let's explore one of the most useful and interactive features of the Ponder tool, the chat feature. Unlike most tools, this chat is context-aware. It allows you to interact directly with the resources you've added. Let's test it out. I'll type a prompt here. Analyze all the resources and make a short summary. Hit enter and in just a few seconds, a well-organized summary is generated based on all the documents we've added into our mind map. AI-powered suggestions. Another powerful feature here is find related papers. Clicking this will automatically recommend related academic papers based on the content of your current resources. You can also use AI-generated pre-made prompts to explore specific aspects of the content. I'll select one of these pre-made prompts and you can see that AI has started processing the request. Once the response is ready, you can click on Save as Node and it will be saved directly inside your mind map. Here, you can see the new node is added and appears within the mind map. If you want to share your mind map, just head over to the Share tab. You've got two quick options. Secret Share for private sharing. Shareable link for easy access. Click, copy and send. That's it.
To export your mind map, hit the export button and you'll see two powerful options, mind map and report. Let's try exporting the mind map first. Here, you can pick your format, PNG, a clean static image, thought you. Interactive HTML, the real magic. The PNG gives you a snapshot. But with interactive HTML, you and anyone you share it with can still click through and explore each node, just like inside the app. Smart, right? All right, let's export this as a report. This time, I'm going with the markdown format. It's super lightweight, super clean, and perfect for sharing quick, structured takeaways without any extra clutter. It also plugs right into other tools that you are using, like Obsidian and Notion, so your insights flow wherever you work. That was a full walkthrough of Ponder, a powerful AI tool for research, mind mapping, and academic work. And most importantly, a space for deep thinking instead of just quick answers. I'll leave the link in the description below. Feel free to explore it. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more practical AI tutorials like this one.